Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to the video from me, Discavender, and for the week 2 of the NUCL with uh, Hannah Panna against Flaming Axel or Raymond. So yeah, look into their both teams here. Uh, I really wanted Hannah to use Miss Majors this game because I knew it was going to be a major player if she was going to pull that off. Uh, she decided not to bring it, but she still got a good, nice sets going. And Arkyabs definitely looked to be a major player this game, if anything. A bit surprised about Raymond's team because he's not having Scyther this time around or Malamar. Both those two being uh, extremely dangerous for Hannah's team. Not having any of those seems kind of risky. Uh, Regirock and Asimil is very expected. It's always Nine Tails and Yuxi, of course. So, without further ado, uh, we're actually going to just go into it. Um, I do know the majority of the sets. Uh, Kling Clang, for example, is a return. Uh, Gary Grind is just to fill with really Torkoal. It's a rapid spin set with Stealth Rocks. Um, and Lava Plume and Earth Power Lantern. Uh, War Absorb to be able to deal with Asimeril. Outside of that, Thunder Wave, Scald, Volt Switch, I believe. Uh, Mushan has Single Beam on it. And other than that, it's a Standard Jazz. Val Plume, Defensive Set. Uh, with Stun Spore actually instead of Sleep Powder because Raven has a rather fast team, so Stun Spore is a superior choice. Uh, for this specific team, that is. And Archeops is a Scarf Set with Filler Moves. So, yeah, I'm just gonna grab my cup of coffee, as my usual stuff, thing, doing. Mm. I'm actually sitting at work right now recording this. My co looking straight at me. Hey, like it. Uh, <laughs> just gonna go for it. Alright. Yeah, I get paid by doing this. Uh, so, alright, let's see. It's a 23 turn long battle. Let's see how this goes. He's gonna start with Rage Definitely a safe lead for him. Uh, Hannah doesn't really have anything in response to that outside of Musharna, who actually can deal with that very well. It's gonna bring the Arc up lead though. Uh, so we're gonna see a U turn here, definitely. Uh, and Raymond is definitely gonna get it. This rocks up, I don't see any way she's gonna be able to stop that. She could risk for Torkoal, but she's gonna lose that in the long run. So Buddy is gonna come in, which is Valplume. Hmm. Well, Ice Punch shouldn't really do a whole lot, but there we go. And obviously, wow, with the Sinesis and self rain, that, that could be dangerous, that could really be dangerous, um, since he actually did 50% with an ice. Uh, I do presume Raymond's set here is a bandit set. Um, Raymond's gonna switch that out, okay, so not optimize if we keep going for it. To Mozilla, which obviously be in the Vile Plume, I was gonna say, but I mean, of course, Nine Tails. And uh, now I can't take it rain, and it's a bit too late, and I presume knowing Raymond, uh, this is a nasty plot set with energy ball, flamethrower, and either Psy Shock or Dog Pulse. Uh, having leftovers that interesting. Instead of Shuka Berry. Huh. Alright, so Lumina is gonna come in. That is, uh, is kind of risky. Because, uh, like I said, their energy ball is a thing on Nine Tails. And I don't think Lantern is gonna appreciate the kind of damage. And being naturally slower means it's gonna be even more scarier. Uh, there is energy ball, I suspected, and yeah, that's a 50% hit. Uh, there's a T-Wave, nice. Nice, so you're gonna shut down the Nine Tails, though really should go for a Volt Switch and get out of there. Um, I would, if I were Hannah, I'd probably go for a Volt Switch into uh, Valkum, actually, since Raymond has no reason to stop going for uh, energy balls. Uh, she does say go for Skull, though. Ooh, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. He could break through, and he does break through. Oh shit! So losing Lantern that early is not—it's not ideal. It's not ideal. Uh, it's definitely not ideal since Lantern was a good response for his uh, for his Asimaril. So Aloha is gonna come in, and I presume going for a safe earthquake should be fine here. Um, it's gonna bring Regirock, I guess. Actually, Drillbur. Hmm. Shouldn't matter though, since Hana is scarce, so Drillable should definitely go down to this combination. So that's Isla, 50% hit. And he, ooh, okay, he switches out yet again. And this time bringing Yuxu is levitating, of course. Hana should probably have seen it one coming. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, then Hana wasn't scarf, my bad. Uh, I guess it's Citrus then, I guess it's Citrus, my bad. Um, that works though, that works. Yuxu is so bulky though. It's so bulky. Uh, so Brett is gonna come in, and Clink Clank should actually deal properly with this mon. Don't see in Yuxi being 
that able to find, fend it off. Obviously, Calm Mindset is dangerous with Psychic Giga Drain, but I don't think it has access to any super effective move. Right, pass, pass on the Substitute there, which is super, super smart. Uh, now he has Shadow Ball, that hits neutral, and that's definitely going to fade out um, that set, of course. So you're gonna go straight off a Gear Grind, voice attack, that sucks. Uh, Shadow Ball is definitely an area now where I think the next one could take him out. Yeah, gonna go for another Gear Grind, does land it though, so that's more than fair. And um, yeah, it does a fair amount of damage, but um, definitely no dice, as one say. Um, Alright, let's find out. If it doesn't... He won't kill it, but... Uh, oh, actually got a crit there. Oh! <laughs> Alright, but I think Rain was gonna go for a kill anyway, so... Yeah. That actually works. Uh, so two Calm Minds is not too dangerous. Uh, now, Gear Grind is the right play to do here, but it is a bit too dangerous also, because it shouldn't really do a whole lot. I guess that's you know, it's fair. Right, there's a Sacred Sparrow, though. Hmm. Interesting. And um, guessing Belly Drum here. Yeah. That's the correct play. Alright. So, it's a huge. Mind you guys watching, this is a non huge power set. Uh, so, it's um, in theory and in huge. So, it basically, it's a Asimer plus 3 with a huge power right now. Uh, it's not the biggest deal. Let's see. Valkyrie should definitely be. Yeah, it's. It's not gonna kill it, though. It's not. Um. Ooh, but it did. But it did. But it did. It actually killed the Valkloom. Ooh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, so Tom can come in and just finish that off. Um, that is awesome. Though I do believe since Tom is defensive, he would have been able to live that anyway, so it wouldn't really have mattered. But that definitely is a tough... That's a toughie. That's a real toughie. Um, I do believe knockoff is easily an 80% hit though, so um, it would have kind of turned that off. Alright, and of course at the Koba Barrier, which means that, ah, you know what? That um, that effects did not matter though. It didn't. Uh, which is nice to know, of course. Which is nice to know. But, <laughs> but it's nice to see effects port coming through. It really is. So there's a Moonlighting, I don't think, um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't see Raymond being able to kill this Mushana now. Um, there's a Call Mind, so that thing is getting scarier by a second. Of course it does. Damn. That is easily gonna be a toughie. Uh, let's see, there's a Stone Edge, I guess that's his best hit, and... Uh, yeah. I mean, two crits in a row could kill it, but as of right now, this thing is not gonna die. Um, too bad Ranger Rock wasn't banded. I think that would have helped in this game, I really do. Psychic should do fair here. It should be a 50% hit. Um, keep going for Ice Punch instead of Stone Edge. Hmm. I don't know why you did that. Oh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that fought out though, alright. Um, <laughs> best kind of axe right there. <laughs> alright, I don't think uh, there is no way he could turn this one around, it's over. Uh, oh yeah, he actually forfeits right there and then. So the mods he had left was Riddler and Machoke, and they were not going to be able to take that one out. So I do believe Hannah win with Torkoal, um, Archeops, uh, Mushana intact. Um, I will say this though, since um, Hannah had the Koba Berry, if Asimaril were, now let's say it actually had access to, uh, or wasn't per fully paralyzed, then knockoff would definitely have been a 70-80% hit, but it would have taken it out, so it wasn't uh, game game breaking, but at the same time it's it's tough to see, because you could recognize that Mushara would have been in an area where he would have been able to be taken out afterwards by either the Machoke or the Ridge Rock. But outside of that, I think Hannah actually would have been able to fend off properly here. Um, Hannah missing out on rocks early was tough, uh, not using Torkoal early. But at the same time, I don't really know how I could play the thing differently. Obviously, the Clan Clan crit there would definitely were helpful. Uh, I don't know why Hannah didn't go for um, uh, Gig Grind early though. Um, definitely would have been an area of taking or pulling that off. Uh, I assume that it said that Rain was bringing was Sleep Talk, Call Mind. 
uh, Rest and Psychic. No, it couldn't be. Uh, psychic, Shadow Ball, Calm Mind, Rest. So, either if it went for a Rest there, I still think the Clan Clan could have actually fanned that off and kill it if it went for at least two ship Get Grinds, obviously. Uh, you know, it was it was hacks in, uh, implemented in this game, and obviously it's a part of the game. It always suck when they break through in the worst kind of moments. I think Raymond were in a disadvantage from the get go. Actually, he had a major moment with Red Rock, um, good lead, but um, it didn't lead anywhere. And uh, Lantern loss on Hannah's side was very game decisive, since Lantern, in theory, was the only thing actually breaking apart the um, the Asimaril. So really surprised about that. And obviously, a bit surprised that Stealth was not implemented when Ninetales came in. Ninetales actually isn't uh, that dangerous for a, a likes of uh, Torkoal, for example. It actually has that has access to force that out, or you know, set up rocks against it. So it was tough seeing Lantern go down like that. It definitely needed something better, and it, w it should have been preserved much better. But Hannah did win eventually, and I think she won fairly, but I think it was a tough game through and through for both partners, actually. And honestly, that um, first turn freeze I thought out was, uh, yay, one of those worst case scenarios. Anyway, I want to thank everyone for watching. I want to thank my colleagues for wondering what I'm doing. That's not Clark. <laughs> and um, every rest of you guys, thank you so much for watching. And leave a comment, of course, about Hannah and Raymond's match. I know that Raymond was a bit upset about his match because, well, let's face it, um, he had an opening and uh, Pax definitely helped him. Uh, not getting that little opening he needed, but like I said, he wouldn't have been able to win with the Asmaril, but he would have been able to do more damage with it. Um, so I want to thank everyone for watching, and uh, yeah, basically, this is week 2 of the NUCL, and next NUCL match is going to be week 2 for me. So thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you next video. Until then guys, take care. Bye.